All right. Anything that you ladies want to mastermind around? Anything to dive into today to help you recenter and refocus for the day? How do you refresh? Because this is part of what's happening to me. Is when you are ready to go to bed and you have something on your mind that you cannot get off your mind, how do you refresh your thoughts so that you are able to shut it off and go to bed? If you're feeling frustrated or angry or whatever. It's hard. Often I'll write it down in my journal and I'll try to focus on something positive as hard as it can be. And I do think about that, literally that tangible, like turn the page, I need to sleep. I'll think about my breathing. And sometimes I do count, I count my breaths and then I, I often fall asleep from there. That's just... I had 10,000 sheep last night and I still wasn't asleep. It was horrible. <laughs> Too many sheep, so that's why I had to ask. Well, and I'm sure others have strategies. You know, sometimes you do. I just have to get out of bed, you know. Yeah, I tried that. I went for a walk at, like, it was, I think, 4.55. I walked out the front door for a walk and came back. I was like, maybe this will help me just sleep a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely not a right or wrong jail. Like, sometimes I've even eaten a snack. But just, yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. Whatever you can do. Yeah, I think that um, it's interesting to to kind of, I think, sometimes, you know, all the strategies of shifting don't work, right? I mean, like, I always start with come back to, come back to my senses, right? And at night, the sight one is the hardest one, but you know, tuning into what you're hearing can really be a good one at night because it's hard to hear things during the night. There's, but you know, if you really listen, you'll pick up on maybe a bird outside, even if your air conditioning is on or, you know, your water softener kicking in or um, an animal, you know, if you've got a pet moving near you um, and just really trying to stay focused on what am I hearing right now instead of what am I thinking right now? Um, but when that doesn't work, because that's a, you know, that's a mindset shift technique, right? <clears throat> Any of the senses, you could also use touching, you know, so you could just, you know, touch your thighs for a little while and feel the sensations in your legs, those types of things. But whenever the come back to your senses don't work, then I think acknowledging what it is you're thinking about is really important. So, you know, what about this is bothering me? Um, <clears throat> you know, what's important for me to know about this right now? When I'm my, when I, 10 years from now, what's gonna be important about this? Um, you know, and just trying to process what it is you're thinking about can help then let it go. So, but you know, sometimes we have to feel the feels and we gotta know what's there and we gotta know, um, you know, maybe what's behind it. And if we can ask some questions and get it out, then we can let it go. I agree. Sometimes it is questioning, why do I feel so uneasy or why is this bothering me? You know, it's funny as I said that out loud. That was one of the last things I remember saying before I fell asleep. I was like, Lord, there's got to be a reason why I am wide awake and I have an extremely late, long day tomorrow. If you could just help me figure out why I am awake, it could help me push through tomorrow with just an hour or 45 minutes of sleep. And that was like, I'm going to fall asleep. I'm going to fall asleep. I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh -huh. that busyness just keeps us going right it's like it's really hard to to turn those thoughts off 
I've had it the last yeah. couple nights. I think I've gotten about two hours of sleep the last three up three nights. So I'm definitely. Is there something we could help you process? Well, what time is it? Yeah, is there like something that's on your mind that we could help you work through? I don't know. I think it's just um, I'm on overload. And when I'm on overload, I don't process well. I like to work through things, you know. And because during the day it's so fast, I get home and then I'm processing through things, trying to process, working through things faster. And mm -hmm. then you know, especially being with the kiddo, um, when I get home, I don't have that time to like give to myself. So that's why I've started not watching TV and playing and like taking time. I, it's just, I think it's just a phase. Not sure. Mm -hmm. Hopeful that it will go away. Yeah. Maybe even just acknowledging what does overload include, you know, and and write down all the things that overload includes so that you can kind of see and then sometimes seeing it and help us say which of these things are, are most important and let go of some of them. Well, ladies, we are over 10 after. You want to go ahead and take advantage of these 40 minutes in, in jail, maybe process a little bit Take, hopefully you can take some of what we shared and that might give you a start to get some of this sorted through. Just turn the page. Sounds right. good. Okay, we'll see you back here at the top of the hour.